Let's take a look at another question to do with the reacquisition of shares. Snowblowers Limited has 50,000 common shares outstanding with an average issue price of $8 per share. On August 1st, 2020, the company reacquired and canceled 600 shares at $40 per share. There was contributed surplus of 25 cents per share at the time of the reacquisition, total of 12,500, which arose from net excess of proceeds over cost on a previous cancellation of common shares. The per the journal entry to record this transaction if Snowblowers Limited prepares financial statements in accordance with ASFI. Okay, so let's see what we know here. So we know we've got uh, some shares that are being uh, reacquired they're at $8 per share um, and the company reacquired them on August 1st, the company reacquired and canceled 600 shares at $40 per share. And there was contributed surplus of 12,500. Okay, so let's do some math here and see what we've got. So we've got, there's common shares, they're canceling 600 common shares. So we've got 600 common shares and the cost of the shares was $8 per share. So cost is going to be 600 times $8, which is going to give us a $4,800. And the reacquisition price, price is going to be they're going to reacquire them at $40 per share, 40 times 600, which is going to be $24,000. So you can see there's a quite a gap between the $4,800 that we had the shares on our statement of financial position at a cost and the reacquisition price of 24,000. So the difference between these two things is going to be 24,000 minus 4,800. So we've got, so we have 19,200 of a shortage in terms of accounting. So we know we need to pay out cash of this amount, but we only have them on our statement of financial position at 4,800. So we need to figure out how to balance our entry by that 19,200. So like I said, the, let's just start filling in the entry with what we know. So we know we want to debit common shares, which is going to remove the value of the common shares from our statement of financial position. And that's going to be at their cost. That's what they're on our statement of financial position at. So this is eliminating those uh, those uh, 600 common shares from our uh, statement of financial position. And we know we're going to have cash of 24,000. So there's obviously a big gap in the middle of the century. So where do we go? Well, the first place that we want to go is to clear out any contributed surplus related to these common shares. And we're told that there is a contributed surplus balance related to previous common shares that were purchased at a at less than they were on our statement of financial position by 12,500. So we're gonna debit contributed surplus because we wanna take out that bonus that we had related to these shares. So we're gonna clear that out first but we still are short by $6,700. And after we've cleared out contributed surplus, the next place that we need to go is to retained earnings. So the balance of it is gonna have to be paid out of our accumulated profit. And so this is gonna be 6,700. And that's how we balance that entry. So thinking about the reacquisition of shares. So the first thing that we wanted, that we did was we took the, the the cost value of the common shares off of our statement of financial position. And we know what the cash is. We know what we're going to have to pay out for them. And then the first place that you want to look is contributed surplus to see if there's any sort of an amount in there related to those specific shares. And if there, if there is, or if there's a, we take that first, and then if there's any shortage or there's nothing in contributed surplus, then the remaining piece of the entry goes to retained earnings.